जल्दी से दूध मथा हुआ मती हुई दही चारों तरफ मिठाई गई है और उसमें एक चीज देखा कृष्ण के नन्हे नन्हे पैरों के दाग जिसमें कि उनके जो लक्षण है पैरों के वो सब उसमें लगे हुए बच्चा सजा कुछ इत्यादि कहीं गाढ़ा है तो नहीं भी है यहां जरा छिछला है वहां पर उसके दाग देख करके हंसने लगे मुस्कुराने तो हाँ ठीक है तो नौ
when children are angry, then they manifest some uh, unique behavior. They bite their lips. Also, tears come at that time. So Krishna was crying and biting his lips. I think, oh, what should I do? So then, he, uh, first of all, he thought he would upset the yogurt pot. Madhya Shona had been churning yogurt in a big pot and she'd gone to take care of the milk. So while she was gone, he thought, I'll turn over the yogurt pot. So putting his hands on the pot, he started to try to turn it over. But he's a small baby and the pot was so heavy. So he, had, he could not move the pot even one inch. So he thought, I cannot do this. So then he thought, I'll have to try uh, some other method of mischief. So he took one um, pestle for grinding, one grinding pestle, and then with that pestle, he smashed a hole in the bottom of the pot. Why? Because of the material, the clay at the top of the pot is very thick and difficult to break. But the clay at the bottom of the pot is somewhat thin. And if he makes a hole in the bottom, Krishna is so intelligent. He thinks, if I make the hole at the bottom, then what will happen? So, he took the, the vessel and smashed the hole in the bottom of the vessel and then all the yogurt started to spray out in a stream from that vessel and spread in all four directions, all over the kitchen floor. When Krishna saw this, he became so overjoyed. It was very beautiful to see the yogurt going everywhere. But then at the next moment, he was thinking, if my mother sees me, then I will be in trouble. So it's time to go. So Krishna, he ran away. And he ran into a room, of like this room here, at the entrance. This room had one door going outside, and one door coming into the house, on either side. In the meantime, when Madhya Shona pacified the milk, she came back to the scene of Krishna's crime. And she saw that the yogurt was everywhere, all over the floor. But when she looked, she also saw that Krishna had inadvertently stepped in the yogurt. So when he, he ran away, he left a trail of footprints. And in his footprints, she could see all the signs on Krishna's feet, like a gold flag and the barley corn and so many signs on his feet. So Krishna, he had he went inside the room, which led to the outside of the house, and there there was a grinding mortar, which was turned upside down. So Krishna, he saw some butter hanging from the ceiling, and he climbed onto the grinding mortar and was taking the butter. At that time, many monkeys came, and many crows came, and Krishna began to feed this uh, butter to the crows and the monkeys. Why? Krishna was thinking, oh, these monkeys, in my previous incarnation, these monkeys, they served me so much in my pastimes as Lord Ramachandra. At that time, I had no opportunity to feed them or take care of them, so now I will feed them butter. And these crows, these crows have appeared in the dynasty of Kakapushandi, one great dear servant of Lord Ramachandra. So I will reward the members of his dynasty. And in this way, Krishna is happily feeding the monkeys and the crows. So, friends, just for that, Jokuna and Jokuna is still there. Tata Tani has to learn. Add to Gusta Bukhi, 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 add to Gusta चोरी करना जवान समय किचन में किसे ऐसा जिनिस छाड़ते जैसे जिनिस कोनो लोकनो रुपा में वैसा धान पाते ऐसे कि पाये छापू जल्दी छड़े दे कुकुर गुली सुने कि एक कर्मे की आज जब भी कोनो रुपा में एक टा कापड़ों छोड़े दे एक बार ऐसे कि वो एक निये रिसर्च करने की है अच्छा उसके पास तब चोर चोरी करे चेक चाय कि जो तो पूरी हमार और हमार चीन ना चे उस सब पे आमी भी चीर नष्ट करेंगे जाते हैं कारण ना अनेक समय दे दफ़ेर तरह चोर 
stood on a udukhal, on the mortar, and he is eating butter and he is also distributing it among monkeys and, and crows. Mother Yashoda, he says, oh, so much clever and so much notorious, mischievous. Who is he? He is my son. And he is showing more clever, cleverness than me. It can't be possible. Would they be saying, Krishna may be clever to any extent. Krishna may be all potent. He is supreme personality of Godhead. But the fact is this, that Mother Yashoda has given him birth. So finally she is mother. She traced out the footprints he has left over and she now is entering into the room where Krishna is there. How she is entering? She is entering very, very slowly. Here in Gurudev is putting very important point. What is that? Krishna is hiding himself. Why is he hiding himself? Because he knows that he has committed a mistake. That he has committed, he is committing theft. So he is hiding himself. This is a fact. Who hides himself? Whoever does some mistake or who feels guilty in a Gurudev is saying, who does unleashed? There are so many insects, there are so many animals. They are harmful to human society. But generally they will never come in front of any human person. They will just run away. The moment they will see a single man, they will run away. But when man is not there, they will come and they will do harm to him. So this is the tendency that if someone is harmful to anyone, he will never come in front of him. And this is the relationship. There are many disciples, they don't come in front of Guru. What does it mean? This means they have some guilt in their heart. They are not exactly following the order of Gurudev. Or maybe sometimes they may be harmful. They are giving some harm to Gurudev. They have some ill feelings in their heart. And those who have got no any fear in their heart, those who have got no any guilt in their heart, they will very frankly come in front of their Gurudev. They serve their utmost best uh, quality. And they will also have any doubts, they will ask their Gurudev. Very Pariprasne. Pariprasne means in very humble manner. They will not have any fear in asking their questions and clearing their doubts. And Gurudev also pleased, is very much pleased while clearing their doubts. Because this is the relationship between Guru and disciple. But those who have got guilt in their heart, they will not come uh, in front of their Gurudev. Gurudev was explaining, uh, was um, also mentioning his relationship with his own Gurudev. So many disciples used to be very much scared of him. And, but Gurudev says that he was never, never scared of his Guru at all. He was serving him to his utmost toilsome manner and at the same time he will always ask so many questions to him without any hesitation. And Gurudev was very much pleased with him. He is giving him an example of loin. Loin's child, cubs. They call cubs. Loin is so much fierce, fearsome to others. And uh, he is, but his cubs are playing on his head and on his lap. No, without any fear. Similarly, that <coughs> Guru may be how much strong and uh, uh, like loin, but if his disciples are his like son and they can very easily come close to him, but if they don't, if such those disciples who don't have any guilt in their heart. So, another thing is that thief may be however clever, but Whenever he leaves the place, he, he leaves some or other uh, clues so that police can catch him. How come it possible? 
So Gurudev is also explaining that someone, <coughs> one may leave his footprints, one may leave his clothes, or some blood is there, some blood spot may be there, and one way or other, finally police catches him. Because it is a, it, it is a fact, thief always leaves some clue, some sign. Krishna has also left sign of his footprints. Now Mother Yeshoda is entering in that room where Krishna is standing on a mortar and eating butter. The moment she enters, she saw him, she becomes very slow and putting her foot step in a manner that it should not create any sound at all, just like a cat when it moves. Cat moves on a dry leaf, also there is no voice on those dry, leaf, dry leaves. Why? This is the way cat moves. So, Krishna could not notice that his mother has entered in the room. Mother has, came, has come very close to Krishna and now he is about to catch him. She is having a man stick in her hand also. But somehow or other, Krishna is also omniscient. He could realize that something is going to happen. And Mother Yashoda was about to catch him. Only two centimeters away from Krishna, her hand was she, Krishna jumped and from the boulder and... How Krishna knew that mother is coming? When ma mother was entering in the house, monkey, oh, uh, monkey began to... Uh, <laughs> and crows began to fly. Right. So, so he, I can't see look that. So he smelled that something is happening and he ran. Now he is running and what will happen, let's see. <laughs> So, so the question is, Krishna is not omniscient. Krishna could notice it because of this fact. And even, if even he could notice because of this fact, it does not mean that he is not omniscient. He is. Tamaya tanjastim prasamiksha sattara tato avalutya apasatara tavat gopanya dhaman jamama yoginam khamam praveshtum tapase कृष्ण कैसे हैं? समस्त ईश्वरों के ईश्वर, सबके आदि स्वयं आनादि, सर्वशक्तिमान कृष्ण हैं, जो भी लोग कोटि कोटि बस तपस्या करके मन को पवित्र करते हैं, शुद्ध करते हैं, निर्मल करते हैं। और शुद्ध निर्मल के द्वारा ही कृष्ण के चरणों को स्पर्श नहीं कर पाते हैं ध्यान दे दी एक तरफ में कृष्ण ऐसे और दूसरी तरफ में मैया यशोदा साधारण स्थूल अंग की होती हुई थी उसके ध्यान में नहीं आने वाले युगों के ध्यान में भी नहीं आने वाले जो चरण कमल है और उनको पकड़ने के लिए दौड़ रही है उन्हें काल जवन जिसको नहीं पकड़ सका जरा शब्द नहीं पकड़ सका कोई भी नहीं पकड़ सका ध्यान में भी नहीं पकड़ सके और फुल काय को भी जसुदा मैया कृष्ण से भी अधिक थी प्रगति से दौड़ करके उसको पकड़े क्या साथ पर देखो भाई भक्ति राज्य बहुत ही विषम है समझना बड़ा भारी कठिन है कृष्ण की आराधना करता है भक्त भक्त लोग भगवान की आराधना करते हैं और कृष्ण की भी बड़ी कृपा रहती है भक्तों पर जो ऐसा करते हैं साथ में ये जथा माम प्रपत जानते दाम तथे को बजाते जिसकी जैसी प्रीति है भगवान के प्रति प्रीति के अनुकूल कृष्ण भी वैसे ही प्रीति अपने भक्तों पर रखते हैं वैसे ही कृपा करते हैं जैसा वो भक्त है क्या बोलते जा रहा तो कृष्ण अपनी मैया को प्रीति करते हैं 
आज जो सुना मैया भी कृष्ण को पांच साल जाने से नाम पालन करते कृष्ण के प्रीति का जो जो गाढ़त्व है ऐसा जो घनत्व है उससे कृष्ण के प्रति जसोदा मैया का वात्सल्य का अधिक वैशिष्ट है नहीं तो पकड़ नहीं सकती गोपियों की गति और भी भजन कराओं की कृष्ण प्रियाओं की गति और भी अधिक है जसोदा मैया से भी इसलिए जसोदा मैया उनके पीछे दौड़ रही है पकड़ रही है यदि कृष्ण के बराबर या कृष्ण से कम दौड़े तो तो कोई प्रश्न नहीं है पकड़ने का यदि मान यशोदा कृष्ण अपेक्षा औतम तो कौन हिम्म की पीछे तीन तक दौड़ा चाहिए कौन दिन धर्म पर अथवा बराबर जब होता है ना कृष्ण जी के बेसिक प्रगति तक दौड़ाना चाहिए इसलिए एक सोचे यशोदा में प्रीति कृष्ण प्रति कृष्ण जो यशोदा में प्रति ताकती है औतम कृष्ण चिंता कर लो महाराज मारे पर आस्ते पास विशेषतः भारतीय नारी जेखने पुरुष था देवरों था जदि कि अन्न लोग था सामने से दौड़ान और बहुत तुले दिए तार चलते वृद्धा नारी के हम देखे अभी चल रहे
This past time is giving very, very valuable message to us. Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. Who is he? We should know. He is omnipotent. He is omniscient. And he is the creator of everything. And no one has created him. He is Anadi and Adi. Adi means he is creator of everything. So much difficult, impossible. So many mystic yogis, they are performing such a high class of austerity, twinging their heart to fullest extent, are still unable to meditate his lotus feet in, his, in their mind. So difficult. And what is happening here? The same Krishna, whose lotus feet are unable to be brought in the meditation by these yogis since so many ages together. But Mother Yashoda is running after him. The whole personality, running after the whole personality and Krishna, he is, he is running and Mother Yashoda is chasing him. Now, what does it mean? We have to understand. Kali Yavan, he wanted to catch Krishna. Krishna is just walking and he was running after him. He could not catch. Jarasan, he could not catch hold of Krishna. So many, so, so many uh, yogis and so many uh, devotees, they are trying to, to meditate Krishna. They are unable to do it. But what happened with Mother Yashoda? Mother Yashoda is running after Krishna and she, she could catch him. How could it be happen? So very important point Gurudev is raising here. We have to understand love, the intricity of the love, intricity of the love. What is this? Yashoda Ma loves Krishna and Krishna loves Yashoda Ma. Ma. Both are loving each other. But we have to see who loves more. The density of Yashoda's love for Krishna is more than of Krishna's love for Mother. Why? That is only it is possible that Yashoda Ma can run faster than Krishna because her love for Krishna is more than Krishna's love for her. If Yashoda Ma, Mother Yashoda is unable to run faster than Krishna, she cannot catch. Even if she runs with the same speed of Krishna, still she cannot catch. She can catch only if she runs faster than Krishna. This means her love is more than Krishna. Today Krishna is showing his cleverness. Oh, my mother is a lady. How can she run in front of man? And if he goes to the highway and starts running on highway, she will never come because she always keeps herself away from the males and especially in front of them she cannot run. So she has, he has gone to the highway and he started running there. This is Indian tradition that women, they keep way in front of a uh, male. They keep way in front of male and senior males especially. But what to speak of running in front of them? They keep way. But uh, today, Keshoda Ma knows, Mother Yashoda knows that all male has gone. Today was the uh, occasion of the Bavali. So all for power grazing, all the males have gone. So whole highway is free from male. So there is no question of any fear and keeping away. So he she, she has taken a vow. She has determined herself that she will catch Krishna. Gurudev is explaining here that such a determination is very, very essential if we want to catch Krishna. Sankal means determination. So he has given, he is mentioning here six limbs of Sharnagati. Sharnagati means to surrender. surrender to surrender is essential if we want to enter in the realm of Bhakti. It is threshold and we have to cross this threshold to enter into a realm of Bhakti. What is the threshold? Sharnagati. It has six limbs. The first is that Anukul, whatever is favorable, we have to accept it. And that should be the determination. And whatever is unfavorable, we have
have to give up. So we should be very much clear in this point, as well as practical also in this point. Determine that whatever is not favorable in bhakti, we will give up. There is a, a verse, there is a poem of Tulsidas. It says, look, son gave up his mother because she gave up Ram. Bharat, he gave up his mother, Kekai. Because Kekai, Kekai did offense at the lotus feet of Ram. Brother gave up his brother. Vibhishan gave up his Raman, his brother, because Raman was against Ram. These are the very, very ardent examples in our spiritual history. Disciple gave up his guru, like Pali Maharaj, he gave up his guru. And similarly, we see that Gurudev is giving example of his own Gurudev. His brother, his brother was very much dear to him and he was very intelligent also. And Param Gurudev brought him in Krishna consciousness and made him surrender to his Gurudev. But during last years, after the disappearance of Srila Prabhupada, Gurudev found that his brother was associating with wrong elements, those who are against of Srila Prabhupada. So Gurudev was so much happy, so much uh, angry against his brother, though he, that brother was very dear to him, but he took vow that he will never see his face. So this is the example he has shown in his life that how one should give up anything which is not favorable. Then the other limbs of Sharnagati, other limbs of surrender shows that we should always depend upon Krishna and we should have full faith that Krishna always protect us. If we don't have this full faith, then there is no surrender. We say we are surrendering to Krishna, but any trouble comes, then we start running after here and there and to the different people. No, we should have full faith in Gurudev. Gurudev and Krishna will always protect us. This is the way we should we surrender. Still, this is not bhakti. What is bhakti? Bhakti is when we start doing, when we are able to surrender to this extent, then we enter into the realm of bhakti. And finally is Atmanivedan. There is, we should think ourselves that we have, we are of Krishna. We, we have, we have sold ourselves to Krishna. Whatever I have and including my this body, oh Krishna, it belongs to you. It is yours. I am your dog. Just dog has got no any freedom and liberty of his own. He has got chain in hand of his owner and he cannot move here and there according to his own wish. But at the same time, he will be he is saved by any attacks from the outside. Who saved him? His owner saves him. Similarly, if we give up everything to Krishna, then Krishna's responsibility is there. Gurudev's responsibility is there. They will protect us, but we should at least have this firm faith that they will protect us. Only then it is possible. Gurudev is giving his own example that whenever he is preaching everywhere, outside India especially, he is facing many difficulties, especially scorn people. They, they, they are threatening, they are giving him threatening also. And sometimes such threatening uh, is coming to him that uh, danger to his life. And they are very much cruel in this regard. It has seen in their history that sometimes they use uh, shooting and all also. But Gurudev says that he has got no fear and he is not at all fearful because he knows that he is being protect, protected by his Gurudev and by Shila, uh, by Krishna. His Gurudev once went to Shila, <coughs> Gaur Kishodas Babaji Maharaj and he instructed him that you should go and preach fearlessly, boldly and you should preach the absolute truth and I, I, I guarantee you, I will take all your difficulties and impediments and obstructions coming in your life. Similarly, Guru always takes one's difficulties and obstructions if one is uh, bent upon to preach fearlessly.
this growing wind breeze, it also starts and started blowing very, very slowly. So it is called a Tirsa wind. Another pastime <coughs> which took place of Goridas Pandit, that is really interesting to hear. Goridas Pandit was very strong devotee of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In Krishna's pastime, he is none other than Subhal Sakha. They are friendly to each other. Once Mahaprabhu and Nityanan Prabhu came to the house of Goridas Pandit. And Goridas Pandit served him so much, served them so much that <coughs> they were very much pleased. Now after some time they said, we have to leave your house. No, 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 I won't let you go. You are so dear to me. I cannot be without you. Oh, Goridas, finally we have to go. You do one thing. We will leave you. We will leave two statues of ours and you just serve them. It will be equivalent as if you are serving us. So let us go. Okay, okay, give your statue. So, Goridas Pandit gave to Vigre of Nityanand uh, Prabhu and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. They gave Goridas Pandit to Vigre of Nityanand and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Now when <coughs> both started going, then again Goridas Pandit said, Please, no, I can't leave you. Well, Vigrehs are there, they are standing in my house. What can I do? You are my talking Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Nityanand Prabhu. I cannot leave you. Okay, then we will stay here. Nityanand Prabhu and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, they stayed one, at one corner of uh, Goridas Pandit. And those Vigrehs, they started now going out. When they were going out, Gauridas Pandit ran after them and stopped them. Why are you going out? He says, well, when you have taken <coughs> Mahaprabhu and Nityam Nan Prabhu themselves, then what is use of ours here? Let us go. No, 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 you stay here. So sometimes Mahaprabhu and Nityam Nan is going, then Gauridas Pandit is stopping them. And sometimes their Vigre is going, Gauridas Pandit is stopping them. And this past time took place for a very long time and finally, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu that that proves our vigre is not other than us. So please keep them and don't consider that we have gone, we are with you. So then finally he took those vigre, he served those vigre, very friendly he was coming. He had one disciple, his name was Vidyanand. Vidyanand. His name was Vidyanand. And this Vidyanand was very, very dedicated devotee of uh, his Guru. Once it was the, on the eve of Mahaprabhu's appearance day, Hidyanan wanted to give a very big feast, but his Gurudev was not present. In feast, two things are important, arranging the feast and inviting the high advanced devotees. And the uh, uh, invitation must be on the behalf of Gurudev. So when Gurudev was not present, Hidyanan invited all the devotees and the Vaishnavas of the locality on behalf of his Gurudev and he arranged for the feast. When his Gurudev came and he came to know that Hidyanan had invited all the devotees on his behalf without taking permission, then he took a sulky mood. He came in man. Oh, you are not my disciple, you are doing of your own. Go away, run away from here. But disciple is also very strong disciple, he said nothing to me. He went at the bank of Ganges and he started doing very jubilant kirtan and he was in the mood of having feast there for all the Vaishnavas. So when he was arranging the feast and doing jubilant kirtan, then Nityanand Prabhu and Mahaprabhu of Kalidas Pandit, they, they came to him and they also started participating in that jubilant kirtan. And when Goridas Pandit went to uh, offer them prasad, he finds that in his altar there was no Nityanand Prabhu and Mahaprabhu. Where have they gone? Have they gone or uh, Hidyanand has taken them? So he, he took a stick that if Hidyanand has taken them, then I will beat Mahaprabhu, I will beat Nityanand Prabhu and I will beat my disciples. So he went with a stick in a very angry mood and when he when they are reached there, he found that Hidyanand Prabhu and Mahaprabhu are dancing with his disciple Hidyanand and they were so much absorbed and he came with a stick, oh you are dancing here, you have left my house and he was angry. 
महाप्रभु एंड नित्यानंद प्रभु वर्ष सो मच स्केल और गोरीदास पंडित दैट दे वेरी क्विकली रैन इनटू द हार्ट ऑफ इंडियाटन एंड व्हेन दे वेंट इनटू द हार्ट ऑफ इंडियाटन एट दैट टाइम गोरीदास पंडित ने निसा देन ही क्यू इज स्टिक एंड देन ही एम्ब्रेस हिज डिसाइबल यू आर सच ए हाई क्लास ऑफ डिवोटी दैट महाप्रभु इज टेकिंग शेल्टर इन योर हार्ट फ्रॉम नाउ योर नेम इज नो मोर इंडियाटन यू हैव बिकम इंडिया केतन ने जबकि उन्होंने 
देखा पूर्णिमा की चांदनी रात पूर्व दिशा में चंद्रमा उदित तो हुए हैं गोल पिंड गोलाकार पिंड रूपे नवीन कुमकुम पिंड रूपे चंद्रमा पूर्व दिशा से उदित तो हुए थे सही देखे ऐहन का स्मरण कर समस्त प्रयोगों को राधा जी के महाभाव रस को आस्वादन कराने के लिए तथा उनकी प्रेममय सेवा को ग्रहण करने के लिए कृष्ण ने उनके हृदय भूत रस को आस्वादन करने के लिए यहाँ पर सब को बुलाया जगह कलम बाम त्रिशा मनोहर इतने दिनों तक उन्होंने कृष्ण मंत्र का गायन किया गोपियां आकर्षित हुई हैं और गोपियों का चित्त मन चुराया है परंतु गोपियां दौड़ करके कभी आई नहीं परंतु आज तो जैसे ही बंसी बजाई बंसी के स्वर सुनते ही साथ ही साथ कृष्ण दौड़ करके ये समस्त ब्रज गोपिया वहां पर दौड़ करके आ गई जो जहाँ जिस स्थिति में थी उसी स्थिति में वहां पर उपस्थित हो गई इसलिए मंत्र के साथ में बीज होता है बिना बीज के मंत्र उच्चारण करने से फल नहीं होता है मंत्र मंत्र देवता का ध्यान मंत्र मूर्ति का स्मरण उनका पूजन और उनका चिंतन होता है तो मंत्र के साथ में मंत्र देवता का आवाहन तो मंत्र देवता साथ ही साथ उपस्थित हो गए जो कि मंत्र के अधिष्ठात्री देवता है विश्वानु नंदिनी श्री राधा जी इसलिए उनके साथ में समस्त ब्रज गोपिया जो कि गोपियन समस्त गोपियां वहां पर समुपस्थित हो गए श्री कृष्ण के आवाहन मात्र से साथ में उन्होंने जब गोपियां दक्षिण आ गई तो कृष्ण तेरे अब व्यंग वचन कहना शुरू कर दिया व्यंग वाते स्वरूप रूपम तस्वासम By the course's mercy of Sri Guru and Vaishnavas, in the course of performing our Purukrama, now we have come to this place. It is called Bangsi Bhash. This is the place where Krishna played upon his flute and invited all the Radha Gopis to take part in Rasa Lila. So, Pooja Bhai, Bhakti Vedanta Tirtha Maharaj has spoken some nice katha. I will translate Hare Krishna. Flowers of all season, seasons began to bloom by the arrangement of Jogmaya and inspired the desire in the heart of Krishna that he should taste the very astonishing Premara. The horizon is not the wife of the moon, yet the moon was decorating the eastern horizon with a reddish color, just as a lover decorates his beloved with kumkum. So upon seeing this, the inspiration to taste the parakya ras of the gopis of Vrindavan came in the heart of Krishna. But he was thinking, oh, how can I do this? This will break all the rules of a dharma. But then Jogamaya, in his heart, told him, no, you, this is your, this is this tradition is coming in your dynasty because you have appeared in the dynasty of the moon. So this is coming in your dynasty. No harm, you can go. That time, Krishna, he came here to Bangshibat and began to play on his flute. So Shukadev Goswami saying, Jago Kalam Bama Drisham Bano Haram. He, this means, Jago Kalam, he's playing very sweet and soft notes upon his flute. Bama Drisham, the gopis who have very uh, attractive sidelong glances. Mano Haram, he's attracting their minds. But in this line of Srimad Bhavatam, Shukadev Goswami is giving us one shiksha, one instruction. What is that? Oh. Vrindavane aprakrita navinamadan kama gayatri kambi jara upasan. One should take shelter of 
Kam Gayatri, this mantra, this is the sound of Krishna's flute. Jago Ka Lam Bama Darsham Manoharam. Here, the sweet singing of Krishna's flute is Kala. So this is Ka La. Bama Darsham means, oh, the gopis whose eyes have very attractive glances. But another meaning of Bama Darsham means the fourth letter of the alphabet, A, A, E, E, this long eye. And Manoharam means enchanting the mind. The presiding deity of the mind is Chandrama. So in Sanskrit, this Chandra Bindu is there. So Ka, La, E and Chandra Bindu, this is Kaam Beach. So this instruction has been given by Shukadev Goswami in Srimad Bhagavatam. So by this mantra, Krish, playing on his flute, he called all the gopis. So, <coughs> Prabhupada is describing how all the gopis, they came here and met with Krishna. But when Krishna met with them, he spoke very crooked words, very crooked language. Swagatam va mahabhaga priyamkim karavani va. Oh, welcome. Why have you come here? Is there any problem in your homes? I think that you should not be here in this very dangerous forest in the middle of the night. Because any lady should serve her husband. This is her dharma and her duty. If the husband is old, if he is sick, lame, blind, bad character, anyway, if the wife serves her husband, then she can attain a good destination. Otherwise, she will not be able to go to heaven and she cannot have a good reputation and have ha any happiness. So in this way, Krishna spoke very crookedly to the gopis. But the gopis, they replied to him with even more crooked words. Kastrangate kalapadaya tavena gita sammovitara nachat charitam nachalatrilokyam Oh Krishna, we know that the, what is the proper behavior? Pratamam tu gurum pujam tatastai varchamamartanam We should serve our Gurudev before anyone else. This is the first thing. So you are giving us such good advice, such good instructions. This means that you must be our Guru. So first we'll serve you, and then afterwards we can return to our husbands. So in this way, very sweet conversations, uh, full of rasa, took place between Krishna and the gopis here in this place at Bhangsibhat. Then Ras Lila began, and Shimati Radharani, seeing that Krishna was treating all gopis equally with her, she had man, and she left this place and went to Sringarvat, this guitar we've heard yesterday. So, I have described in essence the Qatar of Tirtha Maharaj. We have not so much time today. So, Pangsivat ki jai, Rajendranandan and Shama Sunda Gopinath Ju ki jai. Krishna ki prem ki, aur koi singar ki baat batate hai, ko jarur ko slok ka andar mein, ehse kuch bastu ka heat, ingit dete hai, jis ko tarah saadho ko ko saabdaan kar dete hai. इसलिए जब वे रास प्रसंग में ये प्रसंग आने पर पहले श्लोक में अभी महाराज बता रहे थे भगवान अपनी तारात्री शरद उत्फुल्ल मल्लिका विक्षरण तो मन चक्रे जोग माया मुपाश्रित इसलिए पहले ही उन्होंने बोल दिया देखो भगवान रास रचा रहे हैं इसलिए आप लोग भी मत सोचो तो मैं कटाक्ष करते हैं इसलिए श्रीला सुख हमारे श्रीधर स्वामी बता रहे हैं कहते हैं जो रास लीला है ना ये कृष्ण का काम विजय लीला है उन्होंने काम को प्रति उन्होंने विजय प्राप्त किया जो सिद्धांत तत्व दर्शन के ऊपर में जाने चाहते हैं उनके लिए बता रहे हैं ये उनको काम विजय लीला है जिस समय काम देव ने बड़े अहंकार करके शंकर जी को भी परास्त किया ब्रह्मा जी को भी परास्त किया सारे ऋषियों को परास्त किया कृष्ण को पास में भी हुए अपना पांच बाण लेकर के आए कृष्ण को साथ में भी उन्हें लड़ाई किया लेकिन उनको कोई बाण कृष्ण के ऊपर काम नहीं किया लेकिन कृष्ण जब अपना तेरस चितवन उन्होंने कामदेव के ऊपर में छोड़ते हैं कामदेव वहां पर पानी पानी हो जाते हैं और वहीं पर उनके चरण में लौट मोट गाने लग जाते कहते प्रभु कृपा करके आप मेरे को भी एक चरण की दासी बना लो इसलिए वो सिद्धांत पक्ष में यहाँ पर दिखा रहे हैं भगवान काम में मुग्ध नहीं हुए काम के ऊपर विजय प्राप्त किया और असी उनके लिए नहीं यहाँ पर कृष्ण गोपियों का प्रेम में बसे हुए हो गए इसलिए इस स्थान कोई साधारण वस्तु नहीं लेकिन आम व्यक्ति ये यहाँ आकर के भगवत दिव्य लीला सुनकर कभी हम तारा खोज करते लाए लो खोज करते करते देखेगी जे ऐसे को ना एक मे बस आ तो देख 
দেখতে তো মেয়ে অবিকল মেয়ে কোনো ভেদ নাই কিন্তু অজানা হচ্ছে না মতো মনে হচ্ছে যেন কোনোদিন তাকে দেখেন নাই সেই জন্য গোপীরা এখন ধরে ফেলেছে বলে তোর নাম কি নাম তো এখন জানা নাই শিব ঠাকুর নিজের নাম বলতে পারছে না যে আমি ভোলা নাচছি এখন নাম তো জানা নাই পৌর্ণমাসি তো বলে নাই তো বলে তোমার বাড়ি কোথায় সেটুকুও জানা নাই এখন কৈলাসও বলতে পারছে না So one who is the supreme personality of Lord Ed is capable to perform this pastime, we are not capable to perform the pastime. So we should be cautious in this regard. And uh, secondly, I am telling the things in very brief. We have been to Gopeshwar Mahadev also, when we had no Harikatha over there, about Gopeshwar Mahadev, when this Ras was being performed by Krishna here, so Shiv Thakur had a curiosity that this Ras. So he wanted to come in, but he no, he cannot uh, enter into it. He approached Puranamashi. Puranamashi then uh, gave him benediction. He had a deep hair in nearby Sarovar and he became a very beautiful girl. So he start, he went inside Ras, but now there was no enjoyment in Ras. So, Gopis are saying that probably some Vijati hai, outcaster person has come inside our Ras, we have to find out. Then this girl who was first time being seen by them, they, they spotted her and they started asking, who are you? So, uh, Shiv Thakur has become Gopi, but he did not know about her, her identity like that. What is your name? She could not tell that I am Shiva, so he was to be the main who is your husband? Where is your village? All these questions she could not reply. Then Gopesh started uh, giving punches to her. And then he cried. And he cried, Purunamashi, please come and save me. Purunamashi came. Oh, stop, stop. He is Lord Shiva. He wanted to see Ras. Then Krishna came. And Krishna said, Oh, Shiva, you cannot perform pastimes of Ras with us. But you can do one thing, from the distance you can see and you perform one duty also on the Ishan cone. There are eight directions, at the one direction which is called Ishan, you stay there and your duty is that you are not, you will not let any outcasted person here inside our Ras and they see it from the distance. So Gopishwar, Gurudev says Gopishwar means he is a, he is a um, person uh, whose gopis are there, Ishwar. So Lord Shiva has accepted Gopi as his Ishwar, so his name is Gopi Shohel. God Premanande.